2020, just let me know. Are you done? Are you done or are you finished? Because I'm tired. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Blossom Tyro. I talk about all things business, beauty, and lifestyle. So if you like what you see, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Today we just want to talk. We're saying goodbye to 2020 to close out the year because God knows this chapter needs to be closed. Hmm? <laughs> the next page, we got to turn to it because I'm tired. I'm tired. And I'm scared. Oh, I'm asking God what was the reason. Like, what was the reason? What was the reason? I had a reason. What was the reason? What was the reason? I just explained, I just explained the reason. What was the reason? I don't really need to explain myself to you. So first of all, if you made it this far, this year, Congratulate yourself. Rest in peace to all of those who have lost their lives to this unfortunate and despicable disease. Rest in peace to all of those who have lost their lives to police brutality. All of those who have lost their lives to anything this year because it's a lot. So if you did make it out, you know, just congratulate yourself. Be very, very proud of yourself. If you did nothing this year, congratulate yourself. If you started a business, Congratulate yourself. If you slept every single day for 10 hours, for 15 hours, congratulate yourself. Because you still woke up every day. You still made it through every single day. Because every single day was a challenge, it was hard, it was difficult, but guess what? We prevailed. And we thank God. For me, I just wanted to look back on this year because, like I said, it was tough. You do have to kind of look on the bright side of things. Throughout this quarantine, you know, people have been working from home, people have been spending more time with their families, people have been becoming cleaner. And for the most part, people have opened their eyes to all the economic, racial, social, political, and medical issues that plague the United States. So we just thank God for that, at least, that we can open our eyes. And then this year, basically this year needed to happen for us as a society, as a world, to see all the things that we need to do, all the things we need to improve upon, and really just to open our eyes, because had this, none of this happened, we would have never seen this. But 2020, just let me know. Are you done? Are you done or are you finished? Because I'm tired. Are you done? Are, are, you, are, you, are you done? I remember. <laughs> I remember in the beginning of the year, I remember going to the gym. I remember working so hard towards AfroNation in March, third week of March. I remember I was getting my body right. I was so ready shopping, buying all these bikinis. It was a lot. It was all a lot. <laughs> beginning of quarantine after this whole affirmation thing I remember I was so sad I was so sad I couldn't go anywhere I was working for like only a couple of months but I was like I needed that week-long vacation just to chill and then it never happened I remember that day it was like March 13th and then all of the clouds in the sky they were sad at least where I live all the clouds in the sky they were sad it was gloomy it was dark. Yeah. And then you remember those posts on Instagram. They were like, oh, if you don't come out of quarantine with a steel or a new job, you didn't like time. You only lacked focus. Shut your mouth. Shut it up. Because <laughs> it's not that you lack skill or focus or time. Like, this is a lot for anybody. Like, staying home all the time really impacts your mental health. People are losing their jobs, people are losing their families, their homes, their, their kids in some instances. So, like, I never liked that. So if you internalize that or feel bad about not starting your own business or not being as productive as you could have been or whatever, don't. Because why should you? I don't know, next year, I don't wanna be like, oh, I'm so excited for 2020, it's gonna be my year. I'm gonna do what I wanna do. If the circumstances of this pandemic don't change, I will. That's what I gotta say, because, I mean, there's new strains, there's lockdowns happening, unlockdowns, 
going here, going left, going up, going down. But like I said, it's fine because it's all going to be better. We're going to thrive. We're going to succeed. We're going to be happy. We're going to be flourishing. We're going to be blessed. You made it here. You made it alive to the last day of 2020 by the Lord's everlasting grace. We will go into next year and we will continue. Okay? Next year will be a year in Jesus' name. <laughs> I sound like an African auntie. <laughs> Okay, sidebar, do y'all think that, I feel like we're all, like if you're African, like the African uncle or auntie is within, it's within us. Because our parents raised us, they are aunties and uncles. Like it's within us and just slowly but surely it creeps out of us and so boom, we turn into an African auntie. <laughs> anyway, I'm grateful for you guys for staying tuned in. I'm grateful for my family, for my friends. I'm grateful for everything. So this this year, although it's been hectic, you know, we move. We move because that's what we got to do. That's all we can do. We can keep moving forward. That's basically all we can do. I hope your 2021 is filled with blessings, joy, happiness, financial blessings, medical and health blessings, social blessings, everything. Anything you want, it will be yours in Jesus' name. <laughs> anyway, I'll be sure to be more consistent with my videos. Sorry for y'all who have hit me up and asked me about my videos. So just make sure you like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. And good luck to y'all. Bye.